Hi, Saprin from FUFO. And today I prepared a very interesting video, at least I think it will be. And this will be about how you can become a better engineer. So the purpose of this video is to share with you some of the insights I had all over the year by doing an engineer job. And I came from a um, curriculum uh, from a French high university where I learned a lot of stuff and then I went into uh, the software programming uh, world for finite element uh, analysis. Uh, I learned a lot of stuff but I realized also that there were a lot of lessons along the way. And I thought that because I can share that with you on my blog and my YouTube channel, I think this would be valuable for you. Um, and you know, if you think it is, please give it a thumb up please uh, subscribe to my channel. Now let's start with the content. So I've prepared a few points that I think are very very important. So um, let's start with the first point. So to be an engineer you have to be data driven. So um, a lot of young uh, engineers start by uh, looking at problems and they see things that maybe they, they've seen uh, in university, in theory, or uh, purely and simply they don't know uh, those problems, but maybe because they think they have some kind of intuition, uh, so yeah, the problem should be solved like that. And, and they have a method in the head that is already decided when they, they go through this. Um, and I think this is um, this is a big mistake to think that you are always right uh, without, without really uh, investigating um, the actual data. So, uh, and to be a good engineer, you have to be really data driven, which means that you should put your own thinking and uh, your own judgments away uh, and look at the actual data. So in order to look at data you need to have uh, measures, you need to have uh, things you can actually investigate and look at. Um, so just to give an example, uh, if you are looking at a mechanical system then you have to to know what you want to look at. So are you looking at the maximum displacement under certain type of loads? Uh, are you looking at uh, I know the energy generated by the system. You know all, all these kind of things. You need to uh, first decide what data is important for you, and then find a way to get this data. Uh, and then you have to make some simple tests to to uh, verify your assumptions. So never think that you are right before even doing simple bunch of tests that will uh, actually show you. Uh, the reality behind. Um, so you should actually start from the point that your thinking, I mean your uh, emotional thinking is wrong and uh, you should leave the place to the logical thinking, look at the data, look at the equations, look at the uh, the system. So uh, which brings me to my second point. To be an engineer you have to understand the system. So, um, what is a system? A system is a, a set of methods, uh, a set of, uh, let's say, set of strategies or functions or whatever uh, it is applicable in, in your area uh, that, uh, you know, as a whole make uh, make the system, make, make the, the what you are investigating work together. Um, and you have to understand how it works uh, from A to, to Z, Z being the, uh, the output of the system. So you have to go from the input to the output, uh, what data is put into the system, what are the hypotheses on the system, what is uh, changing outside the system or inside the system, uh, all these kind of things you have to understand it. So um, you have to, and sometimes you have also to break down the system into smaller parts. So you have to uh, look at the bigger picture, and then and then 
tell to yourself how can I break this into smaller parts that I can actually understand because sometimes the system is so big that uh, you're not able to really understand how the whole is working together because it's just too complex there's too too many undefined behaviors that you will not be able to quantify um, just to give you an example think about um, uh, a nuclear power plant for example uh, if you have a bit of experience of how thermodynamical system works uh, you realize that uh, it's uh, th there is a loop of heat uh, of fluid that is going hot and going cold and you have a bunch of different uh, uh, assemblies and system in between that help you to to actually do this so you have a heat exchanger you have uh, some pumps you have a, a, a lot of stuff along the way and you can look at the whole system and understand how um, energy comes in and and how it comes out and calculate the yield of the whole system uh, but you you to understand how the whole works you have to look at each uh, each individual component as well. You have to look at the pumps, you have to look at the heat exchangers, you have to look at um, how the, the heat is generated by the irradiation of uh, uh, the neutrons or all these kind of things, you have to understand it as well. Um, so really being an engineer is, um, is really being someone who is driven to understand how things work um, so never think that you know everything, you know, uh, uh, it should be the contrary, it should be, you know, well, it, it's actually funny because when you start to think that you know everything, that's usually when you're wrong. <laughs> uh, you have to, you have to start from a position of uh, humility that, um, okay I, I studied all this for so many years so I kind of know the theory but how does it work in practice and then you have to do as if you started from zero and uh, uh, look at you know hear what people who are really expert in this domain think um, learn from them uh, and basically never think that you are right just look at the data, look at, um, look at, uh, and ask a lot of questions, you know, that, that's also very important. Always ask questions. Don't be afraid to be wrong. Don't be afraid to uh, sound stupid. Um, if you don't know any something, just ask a question and uh, you'll know it. So, uh, you know, that's how I do, uh, actually. I sometimes, you know, when uh, I always start by, okay, uh, the question I'm going to ask probably will sound very stupid to you, but you know I don't have this experience, so you know I just ask it. You know how how do you do this? Uh, and when you ask a question, uh, try to do your homework first. So that's also something very important. So if this is something you can find on Google, well do this Google search first. You know uh, go on Google and. Uh, Spend a few hours to list up the things you find and uh, what you can learn by yourself, learn by yourself. The things you cannot learn by yourself or who are just too complicated you don't understand, then you can ask those questions. But do this homework because th this is very important, especially when you ask questions to experts because they will look at you and say, okay, well, you're, the question you're asking me, you could have found the answer in uh, just doing two Google search. So. Um, you know, there is, you can ask questions, but do your homework first. That's uh, important as well. Okay, so um, I already told a, few, uh, a lot of stuff, but there's also some stuff I want to talk about. Um, yeah, so I talked about systems. Now um, I want to talk also about the scientific method. Um, you must be very clear about what is the scientific method and how to use it. and and then use it over and over in your work. And for me, the scientific method is very simple. It's um, you do some tests, you look at the results, 
if it's wrong, if it, if it fails, if it doesn't give you what you want, just correct your, uh, your assumptions, change what you calculated and just do it over until at the end you get what you want. So uh, the scientific method is basically a process of repetition of the same things over and over um, until you understand how it works and you find the right uh, hypothesis, the, the right functions, uh, until you find the right uh, uh, results. And this goes very well with the first point I mentioned to be data driven because if you do not know what you're looking at uh, you will never have a goal, right? So when you do some tests, you fail, you don't even know that you fail because you know you don't know what you should be looking at. So uh, basically when you design something, when you do something, um, just do a lot of tests and just find out what works, what doesn't work, uh, repeat and, uh, and then one day you know you will find the right answer. Um, and that, that's how science has uh, always progressed, uh, I think. And you know that, that's also why I like uh, computers because uh, e when you're doing programming and stuff like this, uh, you can have this feedback loop very quickly. Let's talk about the next point, which is uh, continuous learning. So as an engineer, I think it's very important to keep learning every day. So that, that might seem obvious for some person, but from a um, new, let's say, new engineer or people who just graduated from university, you might be thinking that, okay, I've studied so many years uh, about the theory, about this and that, now I'm getting a real job, uh, I have to do some real work and use what I learned, so uh, I don't need to read any more books, I just need to practice and gain experience. Well, uh, it's true that you need to gain experience, because that's a very important point, uh, but in order to be able to do your job efficiently and uh, to, to be a good engineer, you need to, uh, let's say, apply more uh, practically all the things you know and you need to learn everything else that you don't know yet because every company uses different system and uh, very specific methods that uh, basically are not in the textbooks right so you need to be ready to to level up to to look it into some new books maybe to ask some experts uh, and to learn about all the things that you don't know. And I, this is actually something I like about engineering. I like learning new things every day. And what I found out is that when you, um, w that's only when you start learning something new that, uh, and you gain a bit of knowledge about a topic that you realize how much there is still to learn about this topic. So, uh, this is really, really important to have the humility to say, okay, I don't know anything about this topic, or maybe I just know a little. Uh, I need to level up, I need to read three, four more books uh, and to understand how it works. Uh, and, uh, and then you become, you know, progressively you start to acquire uh, by doing projects at the same time, you start to acquire practical experience and you start to behave like a really good engineer by looking at the system, looking at the data, using the scientific method and also always learning to acquire new skills and uh, to understand more things. So uh, learning continuously is very important. Now the last point for this video, which I think is probably the most important here, is um, you have to you have to learn to admit your mistakes and uh, stay humble, whatever you do. And what do I mean by that? This means that no one is perfect. Whatever you do, you will do some mistakes somewhere. Uh, you will design something that will not work. You will uh, 
think that something will work but you realize that at the end it doesn't um, so you shouldn't you know stay uh, strong into your positions and and say okay everything is wrong I'm right I will continue to do these things um, this is called arrogance and this is something that is very very dangerous to an engineer because it, it basically stops you from learning and improving and uh, basically being a good engineer. So you have to have this um, humility uh, and say, okay, I learned so much, I know a lot, that's true, but uh, there's still so much more I don't know. And whatever the project I start, I start from, um, let's say, the, the, the starting position that I don't know anything about this. Um, and when you start from this position, you start to ask yourself questions that you wouldn't ask yourself uh, before. And instead, instead of thinking, okay, this problem is so easy because I, I saw that before here and there and uh, I know exactly how to solve it. Uh, instead of thinking like this, just think like, Okay, that's a problem that might be similar to something I've seen, but I have to stay careful because there are some hypotheses that are different here. There are some uh, things I've never seen before and I, I might have to learn a new domain, a new area. I, have to, I might have to learn a new framework or develop new tools to be able to do this. Who knows? Uh, but basically, I have to stay open to the fact that uh, there is much more that I don't know than uh, the things I know. And, and then this also opens you to asking a lot of questions to everyone, uh, especially to experts. Uh, don't be afraid to ask questions. Don't try to solve a problem in your own you know, corner of the world uh, as if you were in isolation and the only person trying to, to know or to understand about these things. Uh, it, it's never like that, you know, don't be afraid to go and ask someone who knows more than you do. Try to formulate what is the actual problem in your lack of understanding or, and, uh, and ask out, you know, ask for some help on some things, you know, and if you don't have the humility uh, to accept that you might be wrong and that uh, you might not know about a lot of things, then that's when you get stuck as an engineer. That's when you um, you start learning, you, you stop learning, and uh, you you basically start you know <laughs> worrying about some things that you're not able to do, but you should be able, and uh, and you don't know how to solve them. So. Um, so uh, that's why I think be humble is very, very important. Okay, I think I talked a lot uh, today in this video and actually I have much more to say, but I think it's uh, that's already a lot. So I would like to hear what you think. If you think what I'm saying here is uh, makes sense, if it's correct or not, if I'm wrong, maybe I'm wrong on, on some of those things, right? So leave some comments in this video on my blog. Let me know what you think. And uh, maybe we can share some ideas together, why not? Um, I read all the comments I get, I try to answer as much as I can. Um, and you know, give this video a big thumb up if you think this can help uh, someone's, because this will definitely be helpful um, to promote the channel. And uh, it will also help me to make more videos like this. So, thank you very much for watching, again, as always. And uh, see you in one of the next videos.